Hello, everyone. Today we will learn about the CC console functions. First, open the Huawei Cloud official website and find Cloud Container Engine CC in the product list. This is the CC product introduction page. You can see the advantages, application scenarios, and the function description. If you click documentation, you can go to the CC Help Center. Click Buy Now to go to the CC Console. You can see the navigation pane on the left and the display area on the right. The CC Console of a newly registered user is different from that of a user who has created a cluster or workload. We did some customization in this area. Let's look at the CC Console of a newly registered user. Click Dashboard to bring up a welcome message. This message tells you that, as a new user, you need to prepare resources first. And that preparing resources includes creating clusters and nodes. Secondly, if you want to use a private image, you need to upload it on the software repository for container SWR console. You can also access SWR on the CC console as the two services are interconnected. When an image is uploaded, you can create a workload. CC allows you to create deployments and state full sets. After performing these steps, you can monitor and scale workloads. You can also click buy a cluster to buy a VM cluster. If you have created clusters or workloads on CC, you can view monitoring data about your created resource on the dashboard page. This data includes resource overview. CPU usage, memory usage, upstream, downstream rate, and disk usage for clusters, nodes, workloads, and pods. Next up is the chart marketplace, which allows you to manage Kubernetes Helm charts. You can directly create workloads using a Helm chart, which simplifies the installation of Kubernetes resources. CC also provides Huawei official chart templates, including Redis, BAT, and MYSQL. These chart templates can be used to install the corresponding database, Cache, BAT, or SCHO, which we have just introduced. You can view and manage created instances on the template instance tab page. Now expand workload to find deployments, state full sets, jobs, cron jobs, and pods. Deployment and state full set are Kubernetes concepts meaning stateless and stateful workloads respectively. You can click create deployment to create a deployment. In the next lesson, we will learn about how to create a workload in detail. So I'll skip this part. Next, let's look at jobs which are classified into jobs and cron jobs. A job is a one-off task that is executed immediately after deployment. A cron job is a short task that is executed periodically. For example, a cron job can be created to synchronize the time of running nodes at a specified time point. Next are pods, which correspond to Kubernetes pods. Here you can query and edit pod instances. Resource management contains a cluster management, node management, storage management, network management, plugin management, and namespaces. In cluster management, you can buy a VM cluster. Kubernetes is a management software for large-scale containerized clusters. A cluster manages a group of node resources and manages VMs and physical machines. Before creating a containerized workload, you must have an available cluster. The node management page displays the nodes in a cluster. You can select a cluster and view information about the nodes in it, including allocatable CPUs and memory, private IP address, and elastic IP address. In the operation column, you can click monitoring for a node to go to the cloud I console and view node monitoring data including us monitoring, basic monitoring, and process monitoring. Now let's look at storage management. 
CC is connected to the EVS, SFS, and OBS services of Huawei Cloud, so that EVS, SFS, and OBS storage volumes can be mounted to containers to provide persistent storage. Next, network management, which corresponds to the service function of Kubernetes. After a workload is created, you must create a service for it if you want it to be accessed by other workloads or public networks. When creating a service, you can set the access mode to intra VPC, intra cluster, or external for external access. Three access types are supported: EIP, TNAT, and ELB. We will skip this part today. Ingress refers to layer 7 load balancing which will be introduced in detail in a future lesson. Network Policy CC has enhanced the network policy function of Kubernetes, allowing users to achieve network isolation in a cluster. This means that a firewall can be set up between some pods. A potential application scenario is that you have a payment system and you only want it to be accessible to a few components. By configuring a network policy, you can easily do this and avoid security risks. Next, plugin management, which allows you to install and manage plugins that implement extended functions of CC clusters. To install a plugin, click Install Plugin for that plugin. Select the cluster and the plugin version, and configure plugin parameters, if any, on the plugin instances page. You can upgrade or uninstall an installed plugin. You can also click on a plugin name to view details about its instances. Next, namespaces, which enables division of cluster resources among multiple users. You can create multiple namespaces in a cluster to isolate data. This enables services in namespaces to share resources on the cluster without affecting each other. Now, let's look at image repository. This item redirects you to the Huawei Cloud SWR service. You can upload images using SWR so that CC can create containers based on these images. Next. Monitoring Center. This item redirects you to the Huawei Cloud AOAM service. Application Operations Management AOM is a one-stop, three-dimensional OM management platform for cloud applications. It monitors your applications and related cloud resources in real time, collects and associates the data of resource metrics, logs, and events to analyze application health statuses, and provides flexible alarms and abundant data visualization functions. This helps you detect faults early and determine the real-time running statuses of applications, resources, and services. You can find the documentation and video tutorials about this service in the Help Center of Huawei Cloud. So we'll skip this part today. Next. Configuration Center. Which contains config maps and secrets. Both are Kubernetes concepts. The last item on the navigation pane is Help Center. Where you can find CC documentation and help channels. The documentation includes CC workflow, user guide, API reference, Cubectal command guide, and best practices. If you have any questions, see if similar questions are included in the FAQs. This is the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll learn about how to deploy a simple single instance workload. Thank you.